Hello all and welcome to All Red. We're gonna do some high profile math here to say whether or not Liverpool are going to hang on to this seven point lead. Let's dive right into the math. I love math and I love Liverpool. It's because this is all Liverpool all the time, it's All Red. Please hit that like button and consider subscribing as we continue to cover the best club in the entire world. It's Liverpool at the top, if you look at the table, really no one else, right? It's Liverpool and Arsenal vying for this title. Forrest are pretty much out of it, Chelsea, City, too far gone. So it's Liverpool versus Arsenal. Let's do some title math, okay? What will it take for Liverpool Football Club to win number 20? All right, so we are going off of the scenario that Arsenal from this point on, they remain unbeaten in their final 14. That means they get 42 points out of their final 14, okay? That would be a remarkable run, a remarkable run. Uh, that'd be like, I don't even know if Prime Man City did that. I know uh, Liverpool did it at one point, uh, maybe not at the end of the season, but uh, my, I think my point here is that it actually could happen, right? Crazier things have happened in football and in the Premier League. So 42 points out of their last 14, we can't say that's not going to happen with certainty. Is it likely? No. But could it happen? Yeah, sure, of course. Liverpool would need... If that were true, 42 points for Arsenal, Liverpool would need 36 to secure the Premier League by one point. Now, I know Liverpool currently lead in the goal difference category, but I'm not gonna count on that uh, because you can't do that. Uh, so 36 points would be needed to absolutely secure the Premier League by one point. Now, if Arsenal go unbeaten, that means they would have 92 points total, which would be very, very good for Arsenal. Uh, for any team, 92 points in the Premier League is incredible. Um, Liverpool obviously would need 93 based on the, 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 num the numbers we just looked at. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. So 36 points needed from 14 matches for Liverpool to completely, undoubtedly secure the Premier League. Uh, and what would that mean? So that would mean 12 wins out of their last 14. Okay, so 12 wins, two losses which honestly, two losses from now until the end of the season, considering we've only lost once in the Premier League this year um, in our first, you know, 24. Uh, that means 12 wins, two losses. It's kind of hard to see this losing two games, but I'm sure it's possible, absolutely possible. So 12 wins, uh, that's a lot of wins. That's higher, that'd be a higher win rate than what we currently have in our first 24 games. The second scenario would be 11 wins, three draws. Okay, so we would have 11 wins, three draws, and no losses in our final 14. Now, it, it's notable to say that that 11 wins, to need 11 wins to get 36 points, um, that would be a win rate of 79%, okay? Our current win rate is 70%. So the likelihood of us getting 36 points is actually kind of low, okay? And that's why I'm saying that the, I think the math says that this title race is not quite over. It's not quite over. I've heard a lot of people saying, oh, seven points, it's just too much. Mark Goldbridge saying that, uh, even the Anfield agenda hasn't quite said that, but keeps saying like, oh, if we get to nine points, um, you know, it's over, it's done and dusted. I think Craig has said before that it is over. Uh, and I don't know if he still believes that, but he has said that in the past, in the recent past. So <clears throat> here's my projection for our last 14 matches, okay? Uh, this is based on what we've seen from Liverpool this season so far, our remaining schedule, home and away. We've got eight home matches, six away matches. My projection for the amount of points that we are going to get from now until the end of the season, 33 points. I think we're gonna get 33 points. That's 90 points total for Liverpool's Premier League uh, points total. That's really good. That's really good. Um, and, you know, to say that Arsenal would go, that would mean Arsenal, if they needed to basically hop over us, they would essentially have to win 13 out of 14 and draw one um, to uh, jump ahead of us at 91 points. So, uh, whew, man, that's crazy, that's crazy. Um, so anyways, what do you think? I'd love to know what you think in the comments because I don't think the Premier League is, is over yet. I don't think it is. Um, now, depending on what happens this weekend and next week, there is a, a big, big sack of games coming up in the next two weeks uh, that could change everything 
and could also put Liverpool in kind of that pole position locked in. These numbers could completely change in the next two weeks. So we will have to wait and see what that happens. But I'd love to know what you think in the comments. Get them in the